Hi guys, welcome to iRacingiFlag.com and today I'm going to show you guys how to install your iFlags. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions on it so we'll jump right into it. The first thing that you want to do is uh, download uh, a WinRAR program or a ZIP program. I use WinRAR. Uh, just because it's pretty easy to install and uh, what you can do is just go to Google just type in win R A R usually it's the second download link here just click on it chances are you're running a 64-bit system so you just download a 64-bit program here and it'll pop up down here and you just click run and it'll go through the install process and once that's all installed then we can uh, go ahead and jump into getting your iFly going so the first thing you want to do is go to uh, iracingiflag.com and come up here to the top click on support then the i flag and here um, you can read uh, the frequently asked questions here uh, but the big thing that you want to do is concentrate here on number three because this is going to tell you everything that you need to do to uh, download or to get your iFly going so the first thing you want to do is make sure that you go to the the Microsoft website to make sure that you have the net framework 4 installed on your system a lot of people do but I just uh, have people go here to make sure so you can click there and it'll take you to this page uh, just go right here and click on download and you'll get uh, your download box down here and just click on run it'll download install and if you have it on your system it's a box is gonna pop up and say pretty much you don't need to install the software uh, because it's already on your system if you don't um, when the box pops up you'll see the little continue uh, box and just click on that and it'll install it for you. Once you get done with that then you'll want to go down here uh, to B and download the Arduino software. You click here and you can donate if you wish um, but just go ahead and click on just download and then what you want to do is go here to the Windows installer here at the top and again come down here to just download and you will see your download deal pop up here again click here on the up arrow click save as and what you want to do is save that to your desktop and then you hit save and I'll pause it here once it gets done with the security scan and all that we'll be right back okay and we're back so once that downloads you're gonna see this icon uh, just go ahead and double click on it um, the box is gonna come up and it's gonna start uh, it'll ask you to start installing it you just uh, start, the, start the install process um, once it's oh toward the end uh, it's going to come up and ask you if you want to install some drivers and you're going to want to click on yes I think that box pops up maybe th three or four times and once you get done installing um, you're going to see an icon then that looks like this so 
once you get that icon then you can go ahead and just delete this install folder off your computer and leave this uh, icon here um, on your desktop once you get that done then we'll want to go back here to the iRacing iFlag page and support iFlag and you want to come down here to see um, this is uh, where you download the iFlag software uh, from the iFlag website um, you just click here and it takes you there and uh, you can scan through here read about the software programmer and uh, everything about the iFlag program um, so once you get done doing that you just click here on software and this is going to come up and what you want to do is go over here to the save click the up arrow save as and again you're going to want to save it to your desktop I already have it on my desktop so it's not going to put it on there so once that downloads uh, you will have a f icon that looks like this go ahead and double click on that and it's going to ask you to it'll come up to a screen like this and what you want to do is come up here to extract and you're going to it should automatically populate this for you to where it's going to extract the files and then you just click on OK and it will put it here on your desktop so you should have a folder now that looks like this and what you can do is go ahead and plug your iFlag in it should uh, kind of flash and all that kind of good stuff once you get it plugged in go ahead double click here go to your iFlag master file double click it come down here to software double click it and then go to iFlag and this is the program that you're gonna want looks like a black box with a bunch of white dots in it um, but I tell usually tell people is to create a shortcut and how you do that is just right click here on the folder go down here to create shortcut and it's gonna put the shortcut here on your system and just drag that over here to your desktop now this way you don't have to keep coming in here and going through the process of finding this this icon here so now you just double click on it I don't have my iFlag installed so it's probably going to come up here it's going to probably air out here uh, but it'll probably take a few minutes uh, for it to find your iFlag uh, once it does this uh, box here will turn green and you can come up here to the options and click the demo mode uh, chances are this is already going to be checked and that should start going through the signals um, that it uh, does during eye racing and you can just let it do that for a little bit and once you're done with that then you can go ahead and just uh, uncheck the demo and uh, your iFlag should shut off. Um, you can also come up here um, and kind of look at this stuff. Um, you can control the, yeah, it keeps airing out here, but uh, you can control the brightness of your iFlag by going to the brightness tab here and uh, you can turn it down if you wish. But uh, once you get to this point, and this is green here um, again when you install this thing uh, 
let me back up a little bit um, it'll find your hopefully find your eye flag and uh, sometimes or it's going to have to program it so if you click here under options uh, if you give it a few minutes it might there might be something that pops up here around the top that says that you need to initialize it on com whatever uh, it might list a com port there and you just click on initialize and it'll do that once it initializes um, it'll go through the demo signals demo mode which will give you the different signals and this here will turn green so once this is green then you can go ahead and launch iRacing and you'll need this running in the background um, when iRacing is going and uh, you can go ahead and make sure that you keep this here on your desktop so that doesn't go anywhere so that should be it guys um, it's a pretty easy process um, if you have any questions like I said just drop drop me a PM and or leave me a message and I'll get back to you and if you need help getting it installed uh, just let me know. Thank you.